Hello, I am Patrick DeFlorio. I'll be discussing sealing a 32 millimeter sapphire tube to a glass stainless steel flange. Here are some pictures of the sapphire. You can see the ridges in it. Also had a bow about three millimeters over its length. The sapphire was indicated to 10 thousandths run out. A piece of 36 by 40 millimeter quartz was used as a heat shield. It was supported by heavy fiberglass tape. The quartz extended eight millimeters beyond the edge of the sapphire. Using propane and oxygen and a Knight OX 319K torch tip, the assembly was preheated 25 minutes. Starting with a heavy coating of soot and reducing flame, oxygen was gradually added until most of the soot burned off. Using hydrogen in my bed burners, the quartz was heated until the sapphire starts to pick up a glow. I'm trying to keep the end of the glass warm at the same time. Just before sealing, I'm heating the end of the tubing with my torch, letting it thick up, thicken up, get a little bit of heat so that when it's stuck, it's going to seal together nicely. There's the stick. After the glass is stuck, I'm going to move my burner eight millimeters in on the sapphire and you concentrate my heat there. The idea is to let the sapphire get hot, radiate the heat onto the glass so it'll gradually wet and you can work it that way. If you heat the glass, you're going to overwork it and the, glass, the sapphire will be cold. During this time, what I'm going to do is let the glass gently sag in a little bit, gently blow it out. I don't want a ridge on the inside, and I certainly don't want to catch that quartz on the outside. I want the glass to entirely cover that sapphire surface, and I want to avoid any kind of sharp angle on the inside if there was an incomplete seal. The glass finally chosen was Kimball N51. It has an expansion of 55 from 0 to 300 C and 70 from 0 to setting point. It has a little less silica dioxide and a little more sodium than Pyrex. Unfortunately, the size I had was 24 millimeters diameter with a 2 millimeter wall. The glass may well be 75 years old. We had previously used this for molding some little glass balloons for pewter um, statues. The sapphire has an expansion of 50 to 66, depending on the orientation of the crystal. It also has two times the density of glass and the thermal conductivity 20 times that of quartz. The melting point is 2,053 degrees. The N51 was blown up on the lathe using a graphite roller that was held four millimeters below the tubing. Using a hush tip, I gently blew the tubing to size. It was oven annealed, and then I sent it off to Larson Electronic Glass. They made a nice housekeeper seal onto the stainless steel flange. The housekeeper seal should not be heated. So this is not going to get, the housekeeper will not get oven annealed. I will put that on the outside of the oven. Once I'm done, I'm going to reverse that process with the 
flame annealing, starting with a very hot flame, working my way all the way down to a sooty flame. It's going to take about 30 minutes. Then we annealed it at the N51 annealing point of 570C.